Hello friends, I welcome you all. This is the Smart Exceller and this video is all about business and bottom line. So we will be studying what is the break even analysis. Every success and failure of a business is on a break even point. So if you are a commercial student or if you are doing business, so you should know the important tactics of a break even analysis. So this video is all about a small forms we can use this video for checking the break even analysis. So I'll be showing you how to do break even analysis in a normal Excel, in a power pivot or a data model, the same thing in power query and in measures. So every each and everyone has its own benefits. So if you're doing in measures, you'll be getting the visionary reports or KPIs, the key performance performance indicators. So this is what I have kept in the last one to how to do in KPIs. So if you are a normal Exceler and you don't like to do uh, data of DAX formulas or Power Query, so how you can do is so there are four sheets and I have con converted them into tables. So this is selling price, there is a unit sold, there is a cost per unit, and there is fixed cost. So what I would like to emphasize is in this video about the break even point how to be it's uh, how we can calculate so the main uh, sheet will be considered over here so it's a simple one it's not too complex so i will be making it very simple so i will not be making all the relationships in this table so i'm just showing if you are good in formulas and vlookups or index formulas i'll be showing in both ways so how you can do in this quick format so without wasting time let's move now actually what is the revenue revenue is selling price into units sold so this is selling price and this is a unit sold i have scattered this item so you can see banners and bills over here and you can see these are together over here. and again they are different and they are here so purposely i have did, did that so that we can get a more profound picture of doing a break-even analysis so the important factor is there should be no all these items should be single so if you have not if you have duplicates try to merge them and get through auto uh, try to in through power query previous report of the previous video try to get the single output so because on this basis only you will be making a relationship and if you have duplications you will get errors so all this should be a single number so these are the main categories so let's get into the break-even analysis. So the first is revenue, is the selling price into unit sold. So selling price is here and this is unit sold. So I'll be calculating revenue on this area. So I'll be typing a column called revenue. Before this, you have to make convert this into tables. So this is a revenue selling price so selling price is in this sheet and units sold is in this sheet so what i will be doing is a vlookup so i will be doing is a vlookup equals to v and vlookup is doing on tables is totally different so the value lookup value will be this so i don't need to press any f4 because it's a table and i'll be doing a comma and a lookup a table array is in this so i'll be selecting this as a table array and the column index is column two so the the answer will be in the second column so i'll be doing two comma and i want a exact match so i can type false or zero so i don't want to type false so i'll be typing zero and i'll close in the parenthesis now I got the answer. If you want to can cross check, banners is 800 and banners big is 1600. So banners 800 and banners big is 1600. So it's okay now. Now when I got the answer, I don't want to make an extra column. So revenue is selling price into units sold. So what I'll be doing is it's already got the 
selling price. So this is the system has calculated selling price. So what I'll be doing, I'll be multiplying it with, sorry, multiplying with units sold and I'll be hitting enter. So the answer is done. So this is my revenue for each and I react. So the next step is variable cost. So this cost is units sold into cost per unit. So this is the units sold and this is cost per unit. So now I have to bring this over here. So I'll be writing this as variable cost. So if you want, you can define this through under lines. Units sold. So again, I'll be doing VLOOKUP. I don't want to do VLOOKUP. Now I'm going to do a match function. So it's quite boring to do the same formula. So we'll be doing match. So what I'm going to match is match this item comma and look up arrays over here cost per unit so this is the lookup array so i want an exact match so i'll be typing a zero or closing the parenthesis so it has selected the area areas where it has been where these two are been segregated so you can see banner season 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So banner season 6 and so on. Now I want to make an index for this. So I'll be doing index, open the parenthesis. So I have to put an array for an index. So my array will be, either I can select this. If I select this, I don't need to select anything. But I'll be selecting both so I can show you something new. So if I selected this, comma. And so I don't have column, but still, if I do this, what will be the answer? Will I get the answer or will I get an error? I'm getting an error because I have selected an index of whole. If I selected only this, I would have got the right answers. So, what you can do is you have to make a column for this because row and column. So, the column is two. column is 2 so it should be a comma so we got the answers so this is a variable cost so now I have to multiply the variable per cost units sold into so if you can see banners is 78.312 78.31 so this is 42.75 and banners big is 42.75 so it's if you want you can change the decimals okay so now what i have to do is units sold into variable cost so i have the variable cost i will have i have the cost per unit here so what i'll be doing is multiplied by unit sold so this is my variable cost okay now the final one is profit or loss so how we calculate profit and loss is revenue minus fixed cost minus variable cost. So all the features I'll be doing over here. So I'll be typing this as a profit. So revenue minus variable cost minus fixed cost or wise anything. Revenue minus fixed cost minus variable cost or revenue minus variable cost minus fixed cost. It's one and the same. So we already have a revenue. So it is going to be like revenue minus variable cost. But this is not the final answer. We have a fixed cost. So anyhow, the fixed cost is 200,000. So I don't want to again make a new column for this. So if I know the answer, what I will be doing is minus 200,000. 
So there will be three zeros and 200,000. So you got the answer. So if you want again, underline this thing. So now when we have all these things, how to calculate the profit or loss? So we have to convert this into a pivot table. So already this is in tables. So what we can do is we can do a relationship. We have to make a relationship. So the main factor of this is this table. So I will be making a relationship with this and a relationship over here. So I don't want to calculate, I don't want this to be no use. So we have to go to data and relationship. And here you have to make a new relationship. So the selling price and unit sold will be a relationship. Selling price and related table is unit sold. So the common factor is item description. So as I told you, we don't need to have, we have to have common values in this. So we can create, create a relationship. So now this is relationship has been created. So again, I want a uh, unit sold and cost per unit. So I'm making unit sold and cost per unit. Again, it will be items in description. So I have already created a relationship. Now let's see, because the main factor of this table is this table. So I'll be making a five table. So if I go this, I, I can select this also, but I want to choose a connections. So this is a table which I has a connection. You can see it has been much. So already it has gone to a data model. So you can see it's already gone to a data model. So new worksheet. And here I have the items on board. So item units sold variable cost revenue and profit. So I got all the tables on one shot. So I can see what are my profits and what are my losses. So if you want, you can just sort this into the smallest to largest. So you can see these items are having a loss, these three items. So I hope you get this video very clear. And um, this is one of the way to get a fast convention of break even analysis. So my next video will be in data models. So you can see I have nothing in Power Query. So all this, once I created, already has gone to data model. So already then the relationship has been created. So I will be showing you how to do this through power power or data model directly without uh, right without using the lookups and match formula so please be please refer to my next videos also it's very important how we can get things in power Pivot. i'll be showing you how to use a related fun function so how to connect between two and other tables so it's a very important table function in data models or DAX. So hope to hope to see you in the next video. So next four videos will be for the same thing. Please do watch carefully and practice this. And have a nice study session. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to this channel. Please give your comment. Thank you very much.